What's up everyone? Today is an adventure day. We are headed to Allendale. I somehow fit my bike in the back seat and we're gonna do a little bike ride. We're gonna do a little nostalgia tour, if you will. Um, so stay tuned and I uh, can't wait to see all the places that have meant a lot to me in the last four years that I have liked to eat, places that I've lived, um, you name it. We'll just, we're just gonna ride around campus and see what we can find. Here we are in uh, lot D1. We are on the north side of campus um, where all the freshman dorms are gonna um, start where it all started for me four years ago. So here we are, where it all started. Ella Coez Weed Living Center. Um, whenever I told people that I lived in weed, they always thought it was a weird name for um, a freshman dorm and you know it is and was but it was the lady's last name but you know there were some people that took the name weed a little a little serious um that lived down the hall for me i'll never forget them jared and the other guy but they love to have fun um there she is yeah all right so i'm gonna go try to find my window that to my room because i had a dorm where it was like you just shared like a kitchen and bathroom but you had your own separate door to your bedroom i mean it was literally the size of a room closet um so that was actually nice though because uh i don't know it was just nice to kind of like have your own space um but i know that i was in room 244 on the second floor um i never used the front door where the sign is i always use this back one or the end one down there um but let's see. I know my room was one of those top ones. Maybe one, I think it was one of these by the tree. I don't know, but it was definitely one of those ones. Um, but yeah, freshman dorm life, man. Ugh. So I think we're just gonna make our way from um, North Campus to like where freshman land is, kind of just south and just kind of go around campus that way and see what we can find. But another fun thing about Kleiner is that I remembered um, that the C store was open 24 seven. So it was nice that I could just go in there whenever I wanted and just buy random snacks like at any time. So that was nice, um, but also not good because I spent so many of my dining dollars there. Um, oh, okay. Here we are, oops at Mackinac Hall. I had quite a few classes here um, throughout at least my freshman and sophomore year. Um, probably one of the most confusing buildings. I remember my freshman year, it was impossible to figure out where I was going, but um, we eventually figured it out. So I was just sitting outside of Kleiner and I took the, the video there and I then I looked back at it and realized that I took it in time lapse. Um, so I'll just talk about it, but loved Kleiner. Um, loved the grab and go chicken tenders, definitely the best part of it. Um, did they make me a little bit heavier? Sure, but did they taste amazing going down? Absolutely. Um, loved late night. I remember every Tuesday and Thursday after volleyball, me and my teammates that also lived in freshman land, we'd go and like literally sprint from the field house to uh, Kleiner to try to catch late night because we got out of practice at like 11.30 or something like that and uh, late night ended at midnight so we'd always try to go get it and get wings or ice cream or whatever they had um, but another food place is the amazing well it's I guess it's an opinion um, fresh food company um, this place has just phenomenal breakfast um, love 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 the food but maybe every once in a while it might make you hurl if you eat it too often. Also, I don't know if it's a trend still, but when I was a freshman, people would throw, to, or they would take oranges out of out of fresh and they would throw them and see if they could get them on top of that dorm. Um, the, the workers hated it. They would always like kind of like look to see if you like grabbed something or like, cause you weren't supposed to take food out there anyway. Um, but people would always try to just see if they could throw oranges on there. I don't know if they still do that, but um, that was a pretty just like fun, stupid thing that college kids do. So now we're kind of in like the center of campus. So we have student services and fountain. 
and then we're about to get to kind of like I guess like I guess you call it the middle middle um, but it's like where the clock tower is and yeah so I guess a lot happened around this area just people playing in the lawn a lot of campus ministry events out in this lawn and then obviously we'll be right by the CDC so that was obviously a huge place um, in my years here there she is Mary the library Mary Ida Pew um, spent lots of lots of hours in in that library in my first couple years my freshman year I spent the night a couple times in there but not obviously because I was studying but kind of just like say that I did that just because I when it was finals week it was open 24 7 or 24 hours a night or whatever and so I just like kind of did it just to do it I mean one time I had a final and I was like I guess it was like it was first semester so it was December and I like took my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff and like pillow and blanket and everything and I like slept in there because my final was like on the other side and it was closer for me to stay at the library than it was for me to walk um, from my dorm in the snow at 8 a.m. So I did that. It's pretty fun. Um, the nice clock tower. What a beaut. And here we have the beloved uh, Cook DeWitt Center. I spent lots and lots of time in there. Um, my junior year, I worked in the office in there because that's where campus ministry has their office and I had the chance to work in there and that was so wild so fun just i mean who doesn't want a job where you get to just come in and hang out with people and your job is literally to like create a welcoming space for people and um meet new people and stuff like that so that was so so fun um i loved that job and i love those people um julia if you watch this you were the best boss and the best office manager so thank you for that so i just tried to go inside and it's obviously locked because of covid um, but I wanted to see the auditorium, just, uh, spent a lot of time in there just from the well and that just obviously changed my life. I remember my first well, um, uh, my freshman year and it was just absolutely crazy. And I just, I don't know, I owe a lot to campus ministry and just that space for, um, teaching me what it means to be a follower of Jesus and how to live in community and how to grow community. So here we are, um, we're kind of by the lake halls and uh, Zumberg behind me and Asabel over there. Um, had quite a few classes in that building. And I think that I had a class in every single lake hall, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this is, I guess, just average classroom area. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Um, but this is definitely the place where, you know, like when you, get into like the middle towards the end of your semester and um you like start seeing the same people that like in passing that always have like class at the same time that is uh that is where that happened the most i feel like is around the late calls and stuff like that and here we are with kirkhoff behind me um the pack next to me didn't really ever go there except my freshman year i tried learning piano and so i'd go in there and to use the pianos and one of my teammates tried helping me learn but I'm so musically declined it was just it was it was so bad um but yeah I guess past like the library in Kirkhoff I never really went to south campus a ton until maybe my junior year and stuff but uh we'll we'll stroll that way okay I hope that you can still hear me because it just got really windy um but I'm about to drive by um Kirkhoff again and I completely forgot to talk about panda and how much that place means to me and how i used to eat it every tuesday and thursday afternoon second semester of freshman year um that was definitely not healthy of me but dude it was so good also let's talk about lower kirkhoff the pizza the pasta so good um and every once in a while the tacos you know they were like kind of weird but you know not too shabby um but yeah there it's good old kirkhoff good old soft kirkhoff yeah, just all around beautiful right now. Um, yeah, miss miss those foods and eateries, if you will. Somehow I almost forgot about the marketplace um, connected to Kenshi. Um, but inside of the marketplace is Starbucks, which did in fact save my life. Um, spent so, so many dining dollars there. Uh, but honestly, I spent a lot of time in there, like studying and just like chilling. Um, and stuff like that 
and then down there in Kinshi is where I had my my bio 120 lab and lecture and that was so bad I can't believe I ever took that course um but I remember that I was it was my 18th birthday it was on a Tuesday and I was in lecture and I was like the third floor and I, I don't know why I remember that so well but I remember what I was wearing and everything um but yeah lots going on in this building in these buildings and spent lots and lots of time in there next we're gonna hit up um field house rec center area look at her beautiful um spent many 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 hours um in this gym my freshman year i uh, I'm talking a lot about my freshman year, but I guess that's why I'm so nostalgic. It's just because it was the furthest away. But honestly, the last few years too, or all of them, I don't know. Um, spent a lot of time playing pickup rec volleyball, met some really, really awesome people through there. So if any of you guys are watching this, thanks guys, love you guys. Um, thanks for loving the sport as much as me and being as crazy about it as I am. Um, my freshman year, I probably went there, honestly, every single night of the week, like Monday through Friday. Um, and met some really awesome people like I said there and then in the field house right over here played I think a tournament or two in there um in volleyball which is pretty fun pretty awesome to be able to play in there played many IMs in there watched many IMs um if you know me and my friends you know how much we love to go be IM fans Our ladies, so shout out to IM basketball um for providing us a place to just yell and cheer and then we're here at Campus West. Um, this is where I lived my sophomore year. I lived in Red B8. And um, yeah, it was my first apartment. So it uh, means a lot. It was pretty nice for uh, riding the bus because it was like the last stop on the way to campus and the first stop like on the way like home or whatever. So it was like you were never on the bus for a long time. So that was nice. Um, and there she is the very last one eight and that was also nice too because it was the end unit so you didn't have like people on both sides of you um which was really nice because then it was like people were never loud or anything like that um and then lo and behold sig pi frat house we love them um so uh yeah first apartment ever pretty dope just drove by um meadows and didn't ever live there or anything, but all I could think about is Meadows K9, and all I have to say about that is if you know, you know. And for my last place of Allendale residency is Campus View. Honestly, this place is pretty great, just like the way that it's set up, the way that it's laid out. Um, my apartment was in a really good place. Honestly, like the layout is pretty average. I mean, it's just like every other place, um, but it's nice and um lived with dawson which is awesome and then right across the street were um rock luke and jacob so that was awesome um 10187 forever baby here we are wow there are people there that's awkward um but yeah there she is second unit in not gonna stop um because that'd be weird to stop right next to those people but uh, yeah, we love Campus View. We love how close it is to campus. We love, we miss Mark, the shuttle driver. Um, but yeah, good, good place. Thanks, Campus View. I, um, I think that's gonna do it for the nostalgia tour. Um, so thanks for joining and uh, thanks Grand Valley for the past four years. I can't believe it's over. It's wild.